Are you tired of spending a lot of money and getting absolutely nothing you wanted? Head on over to MrMuttCoin.com for the cheapest, safest, most reliable coins on the net. And are you also looking for training points to power up that player to make him just a little bit better? Training is also available on the website. Link is down below in the description. Guys, good evening and welcome to Madden Daily Drops, a special Thursday night, Valentine's edition. I've got my Valentine with me right here tonight. Guys, different look to the <laughs> show tonight. <laughs> All right, we're going to go. We got so much stuff to go through for you guys tonight. Can't yeah. even begin to tell you. You know Madden Daily Drops, the show that brings you all the hot content brings you those drops right to your console. Just have to merge your account. Links in the chat. Very simple. Follow along and then just show up for the streams, man. We got the goods for you. Kralo, this has been a long time since you and I have actually sat down together and had a stream. I think it was the mutt head party with uh, Lawyer Malloy was yeah, the last time that. Pretty good. we sat yeah. together on a stream. So it's awesome to have you up here with us tonight. Cool. Kralo's going to go through all of the goods tonight for the series update. We have the NFL offseason is what we're calling it, and it is, consists of a lot of things. First of all, the biggest thing, Series 5. It has a lot to go. You're going to be uh, earning lots of rewards and uh, new alternate currency with the offseason, with the NFL offseason, and a lot of new players. When I say a lot of new players, I mean a lot of new players. Team MVPs, team builders coming your way. This is a theme team type of feeling with these programs, yeah, man. For sure. Theme team uh, owners rejoice. If you were missing pieces and parts for your theme teams, you are going to uh, have a lot of stuff coming your way. 240 team builders. 240, 240 tomorrow. 20 <laughs> MVPs. And then 12 <laughs> new power-ups coming your way. Not tomorrow, but Sunday. We're going to go uh, through all of this yeah. in more depth momentarily. But let's get to the players here, guys. You want to see them. Team MVPs and team builders. We're not going to show you all of the team builders tonight, guys. We would be here all night long. And first of all, apologies to anyone who has a date out there tonight. It's Valentine's Day. We might be keeping you from your significant other. So we really, first of all, apologies for that. Second of all, we're going to get you out of here and back to those guys as soon as we can. All right, let's take a look at those team MVPs. We got Alec Ogletree for the Giants, middle linebacker, 97 hit power. Andrew Norwell for the Jacksonville Jaguars, left uh, guard. Antoine Bethea for the uh, Cardinals. Blake Martinez for the Packers, middle linebacker. David DeCastro for the Steelers at right guard. Guys, you're going to see some with power up, some without. Kralor is going to go, go more in depth uh, into that reasoning here very soon. Derrick Henry coming up. Hey, this big old Derrick Henry right here, 97 Jeez. halfback for the Titans, 97 trucking, 93 break tackle, 97 carrying. Harrison Smith for the Vikings, sorely due for an upgrade. He has one coming your way tomorrow, 97 zone, 92 speed, and then a height. You can't teach that height. JPP on the Bucks, 6'5", coming off the edge with the speed, acceleration, tackle, and the finesse. Jerry Hughes for the Bills right end. Uh, it's coming your way for MVP tomorrow. 98 block shed, pretty sweet. 97 finesse moves, pretty sweet. My guy Batonio at left guard, 95 run block, 96 run block uh, strength. And then Joe Mixon for the Bengals at halfback, 97, 95 speed and 97 acceleration. Wow, pretty sweet there, 94 carrying as well. Uh, Joe Staley coming in for the 49ers. 49ers get another stud for their all 49ers team. Josh Norman coming in for the Redskins MVP, 96 agility with the speed, with the zone, with the man. Julio Jones, get another upgrade here. Six foot three receiver, don't need to tell you anything about Julio Jones. 95 catch, 97 spectacular catch. Uh, Kelvin Beecham for the Jets at left tackle, guarding that blind side with 98 pass block. Pretty sweet right there. Continuing on to Kenny Galloway, Galladay, who needed another upgrade here. He's getting it tomorrow in MVPs. Uh, Taylor Whitehead also getting the upgrade for Raiders MVP. Uh, Taylor uh, Moten for the Panthers. Did I do that right? <laughs> I don't know, man. 
Moton, but, uh, Moton, Taylor, Taylor. Moton Taylor. We call him Taylor here. Xavier Howard for the, for the Dolphins at cornerback. 95 speed, 95 acceleration, 97 man coverage. Pretty sweet. And then Vaughn Miller with yet another awesome upgrade here. 90 speed, 93 acceleration, the block shedding, and look at the power moves, 98 overall. Good stuff. All right. Uh, do we, uh, so we're going on to the next segment right so, here, Farles? Or nope, we're talking, nope. we haven't nope. even talked team builders Shoot, yet. We're just getting through the MVPs. Like I'm, I'm just trying to get it done so I can go on my date, you know? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're going to show you the 95 overall team builders. There are a bunch with different overalls, but we're going to show you the 95s that are coming your way tomorrow here uh, momentarily. Farles, let's start it up. Guys, first of all, here it is. You guys have been in my mentions for about three months now, one of the only rookie premiere as to get an upgrade, not to get an upgrade here for the past few weeks and months, what has felt like years to me, Denzel Ward finally getting an upgrade. Your rookie premiere will also upgrade. Look at these ratings, 96 speed, 96 acceleration, 93 man coverage, 94 jump. Has got the 96 agility as well that you guys are out there craving. So, hey, we're just going to show off the 95s, but I wanted to show you that 94 Denzel Ward getting an upgrade tomorrow in Ultimate Team. All right. I'm running out of gas here a little bit with my voice, looking for my bottle of water. Here we go. We're going through the team builders, the 95 overalls, A.J. Boye, Jacksonville Jaguars. Uh, Boye, a consistent guy on ultimate team field. Carlos Dunlap, big Carlos Dunlap, left end. Derek Carr, in sore need of an upgrade since his primetime performer, finally gets one with team builders. Desmond Trufant, cornerback nice for the Falcons, rise up. That is a really nice one at the Speed Excel. Uh, uh, zone and man, Don Terry Poe, some speed at the tackle. The guy is a zero to 60 uh, monster. Ma Emmanuel Sanders, super quick on the field. Great jumping, great short route running ability. Glover Quinn, always one of those guys on Ultimate Team that plays past his stats. He's got the acceleration and uh, enough to get it done on the, on the field, like we were saying there. James Conner, who put up an unbelievable season in lieu of, the, of, of one... Um, Guy that uh, the Steelers fans don't really want me talking about out there. James Conner carrying the load for him <laughs> out there. Uh, 93 zone, 95 man here for Janoris Jenkins in the big blue. Jimmy Spam, just throw it up and spam it to old Jimmy here. Uh, 96 catch in traffic, 97 spec catch, but six foot seven. My dude Kevin here, the Browns line, really forming up as one of the better lines in Ultimate Team, especially if you run these theme teams. Lorenzo Alexander for the Bills, 95 overall, of course, left outside linebacker. Power moves on power moves. Mike Upati at left guard, again, building that, those men in the trenches, 97 run block, 96 run block power. Pierre Gosson still putting work in the league here, 91 speed, 92 uh, jumping, 97 catch right there, so very consistent. Stefan Diggs. For the Vikings, 95 overall with a nice mix of ratings. Taylor uh, Lewin, Luan, uh, for the Titans, a super character. We had some great times with him at Pro Bowl. Uh, got some great, great times with him. Jermaine Johnson, speed, acceleration, man, and zone. Again, what you're looking for. 93 agility as well. All we right. did it. We did it. Whoo! That's, uh, that's crazy. Whew. That's a lot of, and that, that's the crazy part about all that is that those are just the 95 overalls of the team builders. There's a lot more other player items uh, that will be coming out tomorrow for all the specific teams. So, you know, the team really focused on uh, during the off season, this first batch of players that we're seeing. Yep. Um, when you really look at it, you know, we're gonna have 20 teams out there that uh, are getting some significant upgrades from MVPs. Um, and these are all the teams that didn't make the playoffs. Yeah, so first up are those guys that maybe, you know, you saw a lot of the playoff teams, you saw the Super Bowl teams get a lot of attention for sure. uh, past months. So these are kind of filling in the gaps for those theme teams that didn't quite get their guy, maybe yeah. their man the past uh, month, yeah. month and a half here. So. Yeah, and I'll talk a little bit about that once we kind of go into the content about, you know, what you can expect. There's, there is so much content. That's why we're sitting down, honestly. Um, right. Yes, and one other thing that you should definitely do is if you have specific questions that pop up during the show, uh, tweet them at EA underscore Kralo. Oh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> and I mean that because uh, when, the, when we do giveaways, you can take a look at your phone and you can say, oh, we kind of missed this little detail. I want to clarify that. So as always, work in progress. But tweet those questions now. We're looking in the chat, but it's hard to read the chat. Uh, but now we're going to go over Kralos part of the show. Okay. Yeah, so super high level, you're going to be able to earn rewards with the new content, solo challenges, sets, objectives list, uh, se new series rewards, new level rewards, level cap going up to 80, uh, and then the currency, right, the new NFL currency, scouts, 
Uh, you're going to be able to quick sell specific items for those scouts, uh, and such as team MVPs and team uh, builders, and the Series 5 trophy is going to be quick sellable for that currency as well. You're going to be able to use those scouts in the store for rewards. You guys are somewhat familiar with alternate currency with the past few promos. I'm going to let Kralo dive in. Cool. So again, there's a lot of stuff that we're going to be talking about. Going to take it kind of slow and easy to let you guys catch up with all the content that we're seeing on the screen. So right here, uh, we're talking about the Gridiron Club Reward Pack. So you'll get this to kick off the NFL offseason. Uh, the reason why you're going to get this mutt tip, it just clarifies that these are ways that you're going to be able to, there's, there's going to be a lot in the game from team MVPs, team builders, you're going to get scouts like, like Guru said, um, so that you can go ahead and engage in the program. Now we'll go ahead and take a look at Julio Jones right here in the next screenshot. Uh, he's like, you know, quick selling for 120 scouts. So this is just simply to demonstrate that uh, player items uh, will be quick sellable, um, you know, for scouts. And uh, we'll go ahead and go into the next screenshot to kind of talk a little bit um, about all these kind of things that we're looking at. Now, it's a work in progress. The one thing I want to highlight, and I know it's kind of like all over the place, is all of this stuff is a work in progress. Meaning, uh, when the content launches tomorrow, and there'll be some that'll be launching on Sunday, um, we try to capture all of this stuff literally about two to three days beforehand, and the teams are still testing that, trying to get everything completed. So we put this up there, work in progress, to let you guys know that maybe some things may not be completely final. Uh, for the most part, it is, um, but there are elements of that, and that kind of gives us a little bit of, of room, like if by chance a certain set is missing something, uh, the teams can add it in. Uh, yep. Literally, like right before we got here, um, there were some changes that were done that we had to get updated images for you guys. So again, the work in progress kind of helps with that. So without yeah, further ado. A lot of content. You know, when, we, when we're real about it, when we talk honestly about it, it's a lot of stuff to go through. Shout out to the dev team for constantly scouring and making sure things fit, making sure things make sense right up until, right up until launch time. No, for sure. I mean, it's, it's crazy. They're working even right now trying to get everything uh, ready for tomorrow. So right here, we're going to go ahead and talk about team MVPs. Uh, as as uh, is it Mike Guru? Mike Guru, Mike, okay. Kralo, okay. Israel, All right, there Agent you go. K, whatever. There you go. So uh, as Mike alluded to, um, you know, we have all these team MVPs. Uh, you'll see right here, just a little bit of a teaser uh, for those guys out there watching the stream. Uh, we went over, um, you know, some of the players. We went 20 players in total. See up there, if you can do, you can do the math, 16 plus 16 is 32. Uh, simply means that there's going to be more MVPs coming. Uh, the whole goal was initially when team MVPs launch was to get and help people build those dream teams, especially for teams that didn't make the playoffs, right? So a lot of the teams that you're going to see tomorrow come to the game are teams that are that did not make the playoffs. But don't worry, those guys will be taken care of of at a later date. Um, that information will be communicated uh, next week. Make sure to follow at EA Sports underscore Mutt. Now right here is an example. Uh, on the offensive side of the ball, we have Joe Staley. We're going to take a quick look at the set because uh, we're only going to take a look at one set. And the reason being is um, you're going to need team builders to complete this set, but you'll also see you're going to need some tokens as well. You have some elite gold tokens uh, that you'll need to add to this. But keep in mind, there's also a player uh, right there, which is a team of the week player item. So again, other programs will be part of the team MVP program uh, for the sake of not going into it and like, you know, people freaking out like, oh my gosh, you know, I'm not home. I can't snag up player items. Uh, we're just going to give you guys a little bit of a glimpse uh, to one of the players so that you understand that there are going to be other team programs involved. Right here, Kenny Galladay um, as well. Now at JPP, we're going to go and take a quick look at his set as an example. Uh, we went and showed you his ratings, but you'll see right here, you have Brent Grimes from the Veterans Program and a whole bunch of team builders. And the, here's an example of like you have Quan Alexander, the 95, which we talked a little bit about. Um, but then you'll look through, you see uh, Vinnie Curry, you know, see Jordan Whitehead. There's other player items as well. So again, there's going to be a lot of team builders coming out tomorrow. Uh, a lot of people I've seen in my timeline, it says, when, when is Xavier Howard, you know, going to get a player item? Yep. Uh, here you go. Uh, he's going to get his player item. I'm sure Hope out there will be pretty happy uh, and Master Gamer for their Dolphins Ooh, teams. And, hey. you know, so. go Pats. and seeing some questions pop up here, guys. <laughs> we talked a little bit about it at the offset of the stream. But first up are those teams that did not make it to the playoffs, did not make it to the Super Bowl. They are first up. Yeah, and, and don't worry. They're coming. The whole goal here was to really get this out I, there. I'll let you say that. it. Yeah. I'll let you say it. No, you, you, said, exactly, right, you cool. said it perfectly. First I mean, up. I think it's great to set that expectation because it's coming. Yep. You know, it's just a matter of time. So right here, let's go ahead and talk about Series 5. Now, Series 5, there is a lot here. We're going to go ahead and walk through um, Series 5 step by step. So you're going to get Series 5 trophies. One thing to highlight with the Series 5 trophy starting tomorrow, they will quick sell 
for scouts. So we have another screenshot right here that shows you their quick selling for 140 scouts. Um, this is a work in progress. Again, uh, I didn't get a chance to verify if this is actually the quick sell value amount, but again, uh, they are going to, the whole objective here is let you guys know that the Series 5 trophies will quick sell for scouts. All right, now let's talk about objective lists. We talked a little bit about this. Uh, there's going to be 10 um, for level cap, right? So level cap is going from 70 all the way to 80. Um, there's also going to be an objective list right here. When you hit level 80, you can go ahead. Uh, you, if you do your daily uh, solo challenges and objectives, you're going to go ahead and get up to 4K and uh, training up to 450K and coin quick sells. You also got a Series 5 multiplayer um, <clears throat> Objective list as well. It's something that we become accustomed to every single time we come and we have a series update. So again, there's some objective lists there. The next thing I kind of want to talk to you guys a little bit about is that Ricky Williams will be getting an upgrade. He'll getting he'll be getting a plus two OVR update. So as you go through these ten you know levels uh, for level cap, you're going to be getting those Ricky Williams collectibles. Let's take a look at his stats right here. He's got 94 speed, 94 acceleration, 93 agility, 96 carry. 71 catching, 91 elusiveness, 92 trucking, and 95 break tackle. Some pretty amazing stats right here. Right. I know a lot of people like using them, so I don't know. Might I mean, be back to the top of the mutt food chain right there. At half yeah, half, you know, and I, know? I, I think this is that time where, you know, for people that are grinding and doing this specifically and just engaging with the game, you're going to have a great running back in Ricky Williams. Uh, so there you go. You got Ricky Williams. Now, we talked about level cap increase. What we're going to do is we're going to run through. We didn't do this last time, but we're going to run through. You'll see when you get to level 71, you'll get a UL slash legend bundle pack all right there at level 72 you're going to get some exclusive store packs level 73 you're going to get 2000 training quick sell at level 74 you're going to go ahead and get some new level challenges for those people that play low level challenges looking for that solo grind uh, level 75 you're going to get a ul legend bundle kind of like you got in 71 uh, again over here you're going to get some uh, level 76 some exclusive store packs uh, level 77, you're going to go ahead and get another 2,000 training quick sell. Level 78, uh, you're going to go ahead and get some new level challenges. Level 79, uh, you will have another offer right here, I believe is uh, yep, a two, uh, 2X UL Fantasy Pack. Level 80 uh, right here is going to be a power-up pass. We'll give you a look at that, an exclusive store offer where you get a full UL player item. Uh, so let's go ahead and go look at the next power-up pass. It's going to be a 94 to 95 overall power-up hey pass hey uh, at, at Mutt level 80. So again, uh, there are going to be 10 new levels we're going to go through, and that's kind of it for level cap increase. Now, let's go ahead and take a, a quick look at the next uh, section here. It's about journey. So a lot of you guys have been asking, when's the next journey? One thing to highlight is that you're going to get a NAT 95 overall player item. Um, this is going to be kind of interesting to talk about because uh, there's an there's a interesting twist to it. Uh, so we'll go ahead and click on the next slide right here. Um, and you'll see right here, you're going to have some solos. Uh, you know, a, it's kind of like this, the journey, like all the journey? other ones. Journey? Question mark, question mark, Yeah, question and mark? this unlocks at level 50. For those people wondering, you don't have to be at level 60, 70. My understanding is it unlocks at level 50. Here it is. Um, and there you go. And right there, we have hey Le'Veon now. Bell. Uh, so uh, you'll get an NAT 95 overall Le'Veon Bell. I can already see people saying, well, God, you know, he's got a team builder, James Conner. Now we got this Le'Veon Bell, two Steelers running backs. Already see kind of like that sentiment right there. But let's highlight two something different runners, unique though. about this. Two different runners. Two different totally. runners, but there's something really cool about this. So right here, let's take a look at his ratings, but then let's take a look at his chemistry. Yep. So on the rating standpoint for Le'Veon Bell, uh, he's getting that upgrade. Uh, we'll check out the next screenshot. Okay. Yep. Oh, it's all good. Uh, all right, no problem. Uh, so he's got 92 speed, 93 acceleration, 95 agility, 92 carrying, 74 catching, 91 elusiveness, 85 trucking, 88 break tackle. But what's cool here and what the, the development team did was if you look at the team chemistry slot, you're going to go ahead and pick, be able to pick from any team chemistry for 10 training what you want to add Le'Veon Bell on there. And the reason, the reason being is we don't know where he's going. Right? Oh, that's, that's I think at the end of the day, a lot of people are like, where's he, where's he going to go in the off season? Wow. We're in the off season, so you can go ahead and add him. You know, if you want to make him a Browns, um, you know, running back. If you, if I want to make him a Seahawks running back, all that kind of stuff. So I'm if really we curious. really wanted to live in a fantasy world. Yeah, we'd make him a Browns. I, I don't know. I mean, I'm really curious in the chat if people think that you know Le'Veon Bell is actually going to stay with the Steelers, or you know, or is he going to go somewhere else? That is be really that is super cool see. right so, there. Cool. So that's uh, your journey reward. Now let's talk about Series Five sets. 
Uh, so for Series 5 Master, it's going to be Micah Hyde from the Bills. You have your auctionable, which is going to be 88 um, uh, Series trophies for an auctionable uh, 95 Micah Hyde. And NAT one's going to be 44 Series 5 trophies. And let's take a look at his stats real quick here. Mike, while mm -hmm. I sip on my tea, why yep. don't you go ahead and take a, a gander here? Okay, pinkies up, first of all, there. Uh, you'll notice... Quick sell, first of all, there. That's pretty nice. There you go. Not too yeah. shabby, if right? If you don't want the player, I mean, quick If you sell. don't need the yeah. player, you don't want the player, got some training right there. Six foot oh, Micah Hyde is, again, we always talk about those guys, always play past their stats. There's, he's always sneaking around the field. He's always making a sneaky pick. He's got, the, he's got the speed and acceleration, but the zone is what you're looking at here at 96. Also, if you don't want to use him, you don't use your strong safety, you got 97 play rack to let him roam around and do his thing. Awesome. And he's a power-up. So, again, guys, uh, this is going to be your series master. We'll take a look at the other sets. you got an 88 to 91 overall elite set with will require 15 series, uh, five trophies. you got a 92 to 94 overall elite uh, will require 50, and you got another Coach Madden collectible. Uh, one thing to highlight, too, is that your competitive tokens can go into these sets as well. Uh, one thing to highlight with the Coach Madden collectible, people probably notice it says repeatable. Uh, we did hear some complaints from the community, and, and huge shout-out to the dev team, where people were couldn't do this again, so they were quick selling their collectible for training. So the team went ahead and made it repeatable for those people that need to go back and get those Coach Madden collectibles per a series to make this happen. So that's that right there on sets. Now let's go ahead and jump into the question I get the most, and that is, when is Ryan Shazier going to go ahead and get a upgrade? So oh, there, I see on my timeline. There you right go. Now. So Literally. he's a 95 now. You can get him to a 99. Uh, here's a Mutt Master Finale checklist uh, for each one that you complete. If we can go back real quick for all to take a, a look. Um, so for each one that you complete, uh, you will go ahead and get a Mutt Master uh, upgrade token. So you have to win 150 games. Uh, play a friend is excluded from this, and there's a, a information right there. Uh, win five games in 95 overall, reach Mutt level 80, and then a complete 25 daily objectives. So uh, let's take a look at the, 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 the card art. Let's go ahead and take a look at uh, the player item stats. Uh, it's cool. It's got that 99 treatment right there, which is pretty awesome. So, uh, really, so really nice. Sweet. I, lo I love the gold 99, by the way. When you get somebody up to a 99, neat little touch there. It's really nice. I, I, I love seeing these player items coming out. I mean, people kind of upgrading them uh, at this point. I mean, he's got 94 speed, 95 acceleration, 91 Stop. strength, 98 tackle, Stop. 96 play recognition, uh, 88 uh, block shedding, 98 hit power, and 91 zone coverage. I don't know, Gibbs, Farles, I mean, would you guys add this guy to your team? Make the grade. He's not a legend, so he's making uh, Gibbs' team. I haven't earned him. But I'm going to need him from Gabby the Granner, and he's going to go right next to Bobby Wagner. GG, Gabby the Granner. GG, GG, good stuff. Giveaway Gibbs and Gabby the Granner. Good stuff. <laughs> I like it. I like it. GG, so, good chat. There is um, a lot here uh, kind of to unpack. So well, Ryan Shazier is finally getting an upgrade. Thank you guys for your patience. Uh, all along, the plan was to get him an upgrade in the offseason. So I know a lot of people are like, oh, why can't you do it? Because the plan was to get him in the offseason. Um, all right. So now let's go ahead and a important news flash. Da, 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 yeah, we'll stop. Um, uh, thing. Available. This is work in progress. Available this Sunday. So let me provide a little bit of context before we get into power-ups. Um, one of the things that we heard from you guys, and I'm probably getting cut off because I'm so short here. Um, one of the things that we heard a lot from you guys is there's a lot of player items in the game that don't have power-ups. So when Series 5 launches, typically we've launched with power-ups on that Friday. That's not going to be happening this week. It's actually going to be happening on Sunday. Yep. Part of the reason for that is because it's not going to happen every Sunday, but Sundays going forward, uh, they're going to be looking at adding more power-ups. So some of the team MVPs that you saw Wait, earlier. say it again a little louder for the people on the back, please. We'll be adding more power-ups, like on Sundays. So, Sundays. Yeah, so, so it's Sundays, but it's not every Sunday. But it's going to be happening on Sundays. Uh, you'll see some cool. things pretty consistently right here. You know, yep. we're going to go over the power-ups that are going to happen this Sunday. But the thing to note here is that it's feedback that you guys have brought up. The development team, Jake, all those guys heard that. And now that we're in the offseason, they're going to find ways to make that happen. You saw, I saw a lot of team MVPs. A lot of those team MVPs didn't have power-ups. Yep. That's coming. It's not coming this Sunday, but it's coming very, very That's soon, right. probably shortly after. Um, so let's go ahead and take a look these at all power -ups these power-ups. are kind of guys that have sorely needed one, guys have been requesting, guys that have made the most sense for. Yeah, and these are, well, these are the guys that, again, they're team of the week, right? So they're team of the week power -ups. So they're team of the week players, items. Uh, they're the guys from primetime performers or the guys from the NFL playoffs. All those you guys have been waiting for, they're coming. So we're going to walk through that real quick. But MVPs in Series 5 is tomorrow. 
on Friday, but power ups are Sunday. Sunday. Yeah, people correct. that just tuned in. Yes. yes. So again, team MVPs, team build builders, scouts, all that launches tomorrow on Friday, right? The power ups for like those specific ones that you saw there is not going to be Friday. It's not going to be this coming sun this Sunday. It's probably going to be like the following Sunday. Um, but to highlight the power ups we're going to go through right now are coming out this Sunday. Uh, that is February seventeenth, uh, if I am correct, right there around ten thirty a.m. Eastern. Uh, so, so we got. Uh, we, I think do we do we go? Is Alex Ogletree the first one? Yeah. Okay, so we got Alex Ogletree. I think the next one up, we got Dak Prescott. Who is an MVP, by the way, the Ogletree, isn't he? He is. So, yeah, and so, I, I think that yeah. was the concern why we wanted to highlight that is that because some people are going to be seeing that, well, Ogletree got a upgrade and he's yep. a team MVP. Actually, he's he's getting his power up because he was more of a team of the week hero. Um, sorry, he was more a team of the week player item beforehand. That's why. So yeah, want to address that yeah, kind of sure. concern and confusion. Uh, I'll, I'm sure I'll see that in the timeline. Uh, Derrick Henry, uh, Derrick Henry, you know, he got a team MVP, so he'll be getting his, but he got a team of the week player item prior to that. I'll tell you, that all Titan squad out there is pretty mean. It's pretty nasty. I saw, nice I saw addition. Wilson out there kind of tweeting some stuff. So DeForest Buckner, uh, here we go. Uh, that's one of the team of the week items. And then we got Marlon Mack. Uh, let's go ahead and move on to the next one. Uh, we have Calvin Ridley. Now, he's a rookie premier. The rookie premier will not be able to go into his power-up path. Uh, same thing. That same thing as Leighton Van Der Esch, you know, all that kind of stuff. Yep. Uh, you'll need to use his player items from Team of the Week to go into this. Uh, next up, we have Jalen Smith. Um, we also have, let's go ahead and look at the next one here, uh, Josh Allen. Uh, he's going to be getting a power-up. And then the subsequent items are going to be, we'll run through these, Randall Cobb. Uh, we also have... Um, uh, Vernon Davis. I think the next one is Eric Weddle. And then the following one after that is, oh gosh, oh my, uh, it's one more. Like Garrett Blunt. There you go. So all these guys are getting power ups and the, they will be coming out on Sunday. Um, can I also, can I steal the show here yeah, just for a for second it. to talk power ups? A lot of questions. Hey guys, where are the power ups from the Ultimate Legends? They came out for the week, right? We had yep, the Ultimate sure. Legend on Great Monday. Question. Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Guys, those solos will be coming your way on Saturday. Just a reminder, uh, per usual type of solo challenges, we're going to be able to get those power-ups. So, again, that's Saturday. Yep, Saturday. Power-up weekend. Yeah, it's a lot going on right there. So let's go ahead and take um, – let's go back and look at – I think the next thing we're going to look at is with the Scouts program, how do I go – you know, how do I go ahead and invest my Scouts? Yep. Yep. Uh, here's just a quick look at the store. Um, now – I know there's a question of like how do I earn scouts and everything. Um, that is that's something I asked the development team. I know previously with Zero Chill and a lot of those other programs, there were token sets and other things that you can do. Um, I, I believe there will be things to be done, but I don't know when those will be launching. So just a heads up there. Uh, the team will be monitoring the feedback in the community. Like if there becomes a sticking point in the ability to earn scouts, um, I'm confident the team will be able to react on that as they have in the past. Um, all right, so let's go ahead. Uh, the next slide is just another look at kind of like these scouts here. And again, you know, there's some you know, there's some random randomness right here. Some people that want to go ahead and like test their luck right there on the, like the random team builder player and 80 plus overall. It reminds me of kind of like that gold elite. Um, you know, when you try to pull for that gold elite, you know, you might score high, you might score low, all that kind of that fun stuff. That gold player? Yeah, that gold yeah, player. Yeah, that gold player. I see some fire pools, man, especially yep. over the weekend when Ultimate Legends released and whatnot. Um, okay, so let's see right now. I think the next thing we're going to be talking about is rewards. So one of the things that myself, uh, Mike, a lot of other people have been hearing feedback on is rewards in general. So I wanted to take a moment to be a little more transparent on that. Uh, earlier this week, uh, on February 12th, which was Tuesday, Weekend League Rewards rolled out. And one of the things that we posted on the EA forums, feel free to check out the forums. That's where we'll post most of our communication. And then we'll tweet it out, post it on Reddit, Mudhead, all that great stuff. Is that uh, a lot of our, our players in the top 100 were complaining that the rewards didn't get a change. So you'll see here uh, that the mashup fantasy packs, uh, the coin rewards stayed the same, but the training options actually changed as well as the player options. So you'll see previously, um, you know, anywhere between the, if you rank 50, uh, 51st to 100, you had an 83 plus overall elite. Well, you know, now with the upgrade rewards, uh, you get a plus, uh, you're going to be getting a plus three overall elite there in those, in that rank 51 to 100, rank 11 to 50, it used to be 85, now it's at 89 plus overall, and then 1 to 10, uh, you, it was like two uh, 85 plus overall elites, 
uh, now you can get up to 289 plus overall leads. Uh, that was much requested. Huge shout out to the development team, uh, Cody, Kevin, all those kind of guys, Jake, Brendan, uh, for, for working on trying to get these updated rewards. Now, the next slide is uh, one of the things I heard a lot about from the community is you guys aren't updating, you know, a lot of the, uh, the, the MUT drafts, the salary cap packs. You're not updating the Hail Mary packs. Well, we actually have been updating them every series update. Um, but we've not really shared that information. So we're taking the opportunity here to kind of take a look at that. And one of the things I just want to highlight here is that before Series 5, these were kind of like the, the slots in these packs. And I can already hear like right now what people are saying, like, oh, my gosh, you're so low um, and all that kind of stuff. Uh, I get it. I hear the feedback. Um, you know, the team went ahead after Series 5. You'll see a lot of these packs for competitive challenger, competitive contender, competitive champion. They, they're going up by plus one OVR, uh, those slots as well. But the thing I heard the most was about touchdown packs. Um, you know, I, I, was, I was watching a video from CC, and, and he was talking a little bit about some frustration points there. Uh, we talked a little bit offline, and, and CC is not the only person I've talked to. Uh, it's Gut Fox. There's a lot of community people that will hit, you know, me and Mike and DMs. Um, and, and they even go to Jake, and it's great. So, like, on Touchdown Pack, you'll see that, you know, the, there's, there's two that have an 83-plus overall chance, but they also went ahead and increased, like, one slot that's an 86-plus OVR um, as well. So that's on the Touchdown Pack. Highlighted that in red for you guys. But the thing that I really want to talk about more than anything, and a huge shout-out to the team, we're going to spend a little bit of time on this, is um, for those people... Uh, it, it's kind of weird because as you're updating rewards, I always hear this, well, the seasons guys get better rewards than the squads guys, and the squads guys get better rewards than the seasons guys. So the old season rewards for head-to-head -head seasons, if you were an all-Madden first string and second, and second string, I'm talking to the right side of the screen if you guys are looking at it, um, you would get a team diamond if you went ahead and won your Super Bowl, right? And a lot of people were saying, I'm winning my Super Bowl and all these other tiers where I'm not getting anything. When they saw the head-to-head -head squad season rewards go out, they were like, well, shoot, man, the guys in rookie second string, they're playing in squads, they're getting an 84-plus OVR item possibly pull right there, and it kind of tiered up. So what the team is doing to consolidate this is that if you're playing online head-to-head -head seasons or you're playing online head-to-head -head squad seasons, at the very top, my bad, I want to emphasize, I provided a new asset to call this out. It is a head-to-head -head seasons and head-to-head -head squad seasons. It's not squads. It's squad seasons. My bad. It's all good. It's all good. Um, uh, but I, I want to emphasize that, you know, because people will take these images and say, hey, but again, there's that work in progress thing, a uh, work in progress to, to get it out there. Um, the thing is that if you're an all-Madden first string, all-Madden second string, uh, your Super Bowl win reward will give you two um, – Two 89 plus overall player items. Uh, all pro first string and second string, you get an 89 plus overall player item for winning your Super Bowl and an 86 plus overall player item. Uh, your pro first string and pro second string, two 86 plus overall player items. And rookie first string and rookie second string, 86 plus overall player items. So, a lot. They're done, Pat. I'm really This is tired. awesome, man. I'm really hey, tired. good job. Get this man a water. Uh, take, a, take a sip of tea. This is the what transparency <laughs> that the community crave so much and we are very excited to be able to bring that to you guys you know we wish you could just we could just roll back the curtain at all times and give you guys the inside look yep. we we here at madden daily drops do exactly what we can uh it's it's not everything we can't do everything guys but that's the start i think giving those making those kind of screens thank you uh for that very much it really gives the community insight and a way to compare you know what what may be uh, they've maybe forgotten about, right? Mm -hmm. And then, like, it's a way to compare and then make a, 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 a really a really good decision on what they want to do with their time, basically, yeah. in Madden. Right? And I think the key thing at the end of the day is, like, providing context. I, I think the community is really great about letting us know what they don't like, um, but they're also really good at telling us what they do like. And yep. I, I think that at the, at the end of the day, when we communicate the information about the stuff that you guys have brought up, uh, we need to provide more context on what was there before, maybe why some decisions have been made. And we're constantly looking at ways to improve the programs, yep. uh, especially with the information on Madden Daily Drops. So really appreciate these opportunities for you guys tuning in to get you guys that information. We won't be sitting down all the time. This was just a really long stream. So much stuff to yeah, go over to go here. Over. Uh, we do have Man of the People coming out here momentarily. Sure. Yep. Giveaway, guys, we have not forgotten about you. Want to send the love, first of all, it is Valentine's Day, obviously to the Madden Birds, to the Pie Gang, to the Coffee Crew, 
to the bacon crew, all the crews, all the hashtags, just a shout out to the Twitch community in general, showing up for us each and every day. Guys, this is huge for us. We love coming to you, giving you this information uh, every day, every night. And also, uh, we just couldn't be more excited about all of the content rolling out your way. 20 MVPs, 250 team builders, 12 new power-ups, uh, new ultimate legends on Saturday, and then much more coming in the coming weeks. Yeah. Uh, good stuff, man. Yeah. Thank you so much. This has been awesome to yeah, be able to sit down sure. with you again. It's been a long time, my friend. Yeah, for sure. And, and guys, I'm going to make this correction because I can already see it out there. I think you said 250. I know you meant 240. 240, I didn't yeah, mean 240. Yeah, because someone's going to make a meme, I, and they're going to be like bonkers and all that kind of funny <laughs> stuff, you know, and things like that. But um, uh, It was even yeah. right there. It says it right there, 240. I yeah. don't know why I said 240. It's, well, we're in the moment, you know, excited, kind of share all this kind of information. So... Uh, really excited. Stay tuned. I'm, if you're not following at EA Sports underscore Mutt, all that information is coming there. Uh, make sure you're following them. They'll let you know when content goes live. I yep, think a lot absolutely. of times um, there's, it's going to be a pretty big rollout tomorrow. So, you know, if things stagger or things like that, we'll keep an eye out. If you tag me, like Farrell's mentioned, at EA underscore Kralo, just a heads up tonight. I don't know about you guys. I'm going to go home. I'm going to see my wife. I'm going to spend some time with her. Uh, I'll try to jump on social media maybe a little bit tonight. So Don't you dare. Just to get. Don't you dare. Just to right, see. Giveaways. Just to see. Some yeah, questions. exactly. So, yep.